As season four of The Chosen approaches, the team behind the show has released a new trailer with quite an interesting music choice. The trailer itself is called Deliver Us, and you can hear a song of the same name throughout the video. For those who don't know, the song is from the soundtrack of the famous movie The Prince of Egypt, a movie about the life of Moses. Leaving behind all the implications from this reference, let's see what the trailer shows us and analyze it scene by scene. The trailer opens up with a close-up shot of a tomb. This is most likely the tomb of Lazarus, but one thing we learned in the main trailer gives me doubts. We heard Mary Magdalene speaking in the past tense about Jesus, which means she was in the future talking back about her time with Jesus. So maybe this could be a flash-forward scene with Mary looking at the tomb of Jesus? As you know, season 4 will be full of moments where Jesus will tell his followers about his looming death. So, a flash-forward scene showing his tomb is a possibility. The next scenes in the trailer show Jesus talking to the disciples. People seem to think they know why I'm here. Do you think I've come to give peace on earth? In the rest of the video, you'll see that his lines continue. I've not come to bring peace, but a sword. Division. These are taken from the famous Matthew 10, where Jesus is said to talk about setting men against his father and daughter against her mother, meaning that those who choose to follow Jesus will be hated by their families, a cost of discipleship and being a true follower of Jesus. Another scene is Rabbi Akiva telling people about an edict that shows Jesus as a heretic, which is not a surprise. Here's Jesus teaching Tamar, Mary and the apostles on the steps of the big temple. Caiaphas is also seen in the trailer. He really scares me, to be honest. I cannot wait to learn more about him. This scene is a repetition of the main trailer showing Simon Z, Simon Peter, and little James fighting against the Pharisees. This could be before Jesus and the apostles get stoned. Here's a sneak peek at a meeting of the Sadducees, another Jewish sect that opposes Jesus and his teachings. As Jesus' voice says division, we see that there's a division among the members of this sect as well, as they seem to be having a major debate and the tension rises. Here's a scene showing Mary telling Jesus about the death of Lazarus, and then the two sisters lead Jesus and his followers to the tomb of Lazarus, which is a scene we hadn't encountered before. Now, a scene that has been confusing me a lot. At first I thought this was from Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, but this figure in the front could be King David as palm branches were also used in his time to welcome him after his victories. I'm guessing scenes about David will be used as parallels. Yes, he was a king, but Jesus is known as the King of Kings. So this scene could be shown before Jesus enters Jerusalem. What do you think about this? Here's Joanna, probably going to Jesus right after Herod's banquet to tell him about the death of John the Baptist. Here's the disciples running away after the stoning incident that I mentioned. They will be running through the Jordan River into Perea as we saw in the previous trailers. The next scene in the trailer proves that Shumuel actually did go to pray with Jesus when Jesus asked him to come. This is a nice revelation that I did not expect to see in a trailer. Mother Mary is comforting Jesus when he weeps after hearing about the death of Lazarus. Gaius is listening to Jesus speaking to the Pharisees. We've seen a big portion of this scene before where there was great tension between Jesus and the Pharisees based on Matthew 23 where Jesus calls them hypocrites and criticizes them for their injustices towards people. More Shemuel coming to a realization about Jesus. More Jesus against the Pharisees. Quintus and Atticus talk about the impact of Jesus. Atticus believes a war is about to begin and he's right. Here, Jesus is talking to one of the apostles. We can't see who it is. Jesus says he doesn't expect him to understand now. So perhaps he has mentioned his death and all the things that will happen to him before he dies and the apostles are reacting shockingly. This must be a different scene though. This is right when they see Jesus weeping. It's exciting to see the new Philip here. Then, more scenes from Herod's banquet, most likely from episode 1. Jesus sitting alone. Jesus ordering Lazarus to come out of his tomb. The reaction of Martha and Mary. Someone playing an instrument as part of the banquet. Jesus healing a blind person with little James in the background. Mary blowing up a candle, I don't know where. Big James and the other disciples walking and looking at someone or something, maybe Caesarea Philippi, cannot be sure. The stepdaughter getting ready for the banquet, Pilate and Claudia watching something, 
I wonder if we'll see more of Pilate this season and see what pushes him to sign the crucifixion order of Jesus. That would be interesting. Now, a scene showing us a character we hadn't seen before, a young woman on a donkey. I'm assuming it's the young mother Mary right around the time she became pregnant with Jesus, but I cannot be sure, so tell me your theories in the comments below. Here, Jesus and his followers are praying at a table. Then, the final scenes show Jesus and Lazarus having a conversation. Jesus is not holding back anymore because he's out of time. Then, the final scene is him looking at the sky with teary eyes, which is probably also from the weeping scene. Thank you for watching my breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something about The Chosen Season 4. Subscribe to my channel for more. Don't forget to like and share. See you soon.